How's it going guys? I wanted to show you a video of some vintage stereo equipment that I have. Uh, excuse the dog, he's in here too. Being really obnoxious tonight. Yeah, I know. Hey, hey, shh, shh, doing a video. Um, these are Serwin Vega floor speakers here and here. These are JBLs on the ends. This is a Sony sub right here. This is an 8-track player. This is an amplifier tuner. That's a Pioneer record player. That's a 5-disc changer there. Not all vintage, but some of it. Um, I, uh, I'm i kind of into 8-tracks. This is a whole collection of tapes I got there. I got many, many more upstairs. This is my main unit right here. This is a 1968 Panasonic. Um, uh, I think it's like an RE7070 or something like that. Got these speakers from my grandfather. He bought them new in Best Buy in 1983. I had to refoam them. You know, the foam was just gone on them. And these were expensive back in the 80s. Um, they're all original. Just just the foam has been replaced on them. Um, I've been into 8-tracks since I was 16, and I'm about 30 right now. Uh, I got quite the tape collection. Uh, this is one of my most recent ones I bought. I really like it. Love and Spoonful. Pretty good. I like, I like that 60s, 70s music. Um, got the Grassroots. We got uh, Gary Puckett and Union Gap. And Tommy James and the Shondells. I got a lot. Rex, what are you doing in there? Hey! Yeah, he's causing trouble. Uh, this A-Track is pretty, it's pretty unique because uh, <laughs> it's got like a sliding door actually so you wouldn't even know, well I mean you would know but you, you wouldn't know it's going to A-Track it. Pin back there and these are your channels. I really like the old fashioned, I mean this is definitely 60s. Um, I gotta watch how much I play though because of copyright music. Um, dog just stole a piece of paper, went upstairs and is shredding it now. Fantastic. Uh, these are my dad's records right here, just a collection. Um, gave them to me. And these are some overflow 8 tracks that I really don't care about. I just put them, put them in the corner. Uh, that's not my real collection. It's my, it's not really what I like. You know, they're just spare tapes that are kind of shitty. You know, I got different things in here. I got some Chicago. Steppenwolf, that's an early bootleg tape. Yeah, they actually did bootleg tapes back then. Got some uh, Frankie Valley in the Four Seasons. That's three tape collection there. Um, yeah, the Pioneer record player is from my grandfather. I just put a new needle on that too. So this is all, it's all stereo equipment that he just discarded in his basement. And um, The A-Track player came from Goodwill that's not from family and these JBLs are from family but I I just bought them recently because I didn't want them anymore uh, the sub from family also I just wanted to show it to you it's pretty cool stuff and then uh, <clears throat> it's exceptionally loud too it's as loud as it looks to you guys <laughs> So usually 8-tracks play real quiet, you know, because they got shitty amplifiers inside of them. But with this modern amplifier here, I have the speaker in, the speaker outputs running to the back of the amplifier. So I can listen to the 8-tracks or whatever sound I want. Phone's going off here. Got a nice flip phone. How do you like that? No smartphone shit. Um, yeah, I just wanted to show that to you guys. And I got a, uh, upstairs I got a portable unit. That you could put batteries in and take it to the beach with you and play 8-track tapes if you wanted to. <laughs> uh, it's a True Tone 8-track player. This one's a Panasonic down here. Um, shit, I got like... How many tapes do I have? I think I got like 150 8-track tapes now. And some people can't quite understand, you know, what's so cool about them. You know, why would you want to listen to that stupid old stuff people think and... Oh, that's dumb, you know, you can just listen to MP3s or whatever, you know, but, I mean, just look at these things. They're freaking, 
They're cool. Rex, come here. I'm trying to get the dog back down here to compare one of these tapes to his size. Rex. Come here. Here he comes. See right there. This is the tape to the size of his head. <laughs> you like that, huh? Hey. All right. Okay. We, we, yeah, we understand. Yeah. All right. Well, I just want to go over that with you guys. See if you like vintage stereo equipment or not. If you do, let me know. There's 8-track clubs on Facebook, too, you can look at. 8-tracks um, are becoming really big, actually. They're coming back in, and people are going crazy buying the rare ones on eBay. The early 8-track tapes are making, like, $200 a piece now. The early Learjet 8-tracks. So, But I was into them before they were cool again. Uh, I was into them a long time ago, and nobody even wanted them and gave a shit about them. Now they're getting into them again. So, All right. Thanks, guys. Take care.